Welcome back to Romania. Again, made my way to an illicit pile of trash. This time to visit the fort that you see right behind it. You see, end of the 19th century, the military doctrine of the time was if your capital isn't captured, then you don't lose the war. So what the newly independent state of Romania did, they built a series of 18 forts around Bucharest in a perimeter. And this is one of them. In fact, this is number one. So let's have a look inside. Fort Tool number one, Kitila. This is number one. And the entrance looks quite impressive, as you would expect of a late 19th century building. Kind of military coat of arms there at the top. Luckily, there's a little bridge of rocks. Here through the mud, you see, 30 years after the series of fortifications was built, Germany invaded Belgium in the First World War, and they decisively proved that the era of big fortifications was over, because they easily took one of the Belgian's fortresses, one of the strongest in Europe, by storm using paragliders. And afterwards, these forts were deserted very quickly by the Romanians. They took the artillery pieces that they had left on them and put them on mobile carriages, making them mobile artillery. Inside the first section of walls, the fortress, a little graffiti, not too much. I think this would be the gatehouse because it's right next to the gate. There are a few big rooms here. You know what they would have stored in here. Maybe they would gather in here, who knows. There's not much trace left of its original use over a hundred years after these forts were abandoned, of course. Almost all of the 18 fortifications now lie abandoned. There are a few still in use by the military. One, I think, is a museum. And the others are in various states of decay. This one is actually pretty well. I've looked in Google Maps, some just look like a hill by now, overgrown completely. One has been used as a prison and it was very infamous during the Socialist Republic of Romania. Quite a few scary dark tunnels here and there around the fortification. Like this one. Into another room over here. Wow! Will you look at that? That's an interesting find. It's a map of Bucharest and around it you can see a circle of all the fortifications I think. Right here in the center you can see Bucharest and there are two lines of defense, one with the forts and a red line. I don't know what the red line is for and right over here, Kitila, that's where we are. 19th century fortifications, late 19th century fortifications, some of the most complex ever built in history and to think they found out they were obsolete only 30 years after building them what a realization that must have been intricate cave systems running underneath the fort inside the fort interesting Daylight over there on a the higher level. Coming out of one of the dark tunnels, I ran into a very interesting section of the fortress. If you look up, there's a big hole showing a lot of the sky. I don't know what it's for, I don't see any indication of its uses, but it looks really interesting. A bit mysterious and magical. Looking at the sky through a big hole with the trees. Going above, very mysterious. All right, guys, I am going to try to find my way out of these dark tunnels of Fort Number One, back to civilization. I hope you enjoyed this exploration of a late 19th century fortress here in Bucharest. If you did, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you on my next video next Sunday.